So there I was finishing up our CES 2017 coverage and after looking through the last of the footage, the team realized that there were some really stunning ASUS motherboards that simply needed to be covered. You see, in many ways, ASUS has been leading the motherboard market when it comes to innovation with features like Aura Sync, automatic overclocking, and many other items. This year, they're really moving things towards the next level with a whole new class of motherboards. But before we move on, quick shout out from our sponsors. This show coverage is possible thanks to NVIDIA, Gigabyte, Fantex, and NCIX. ASUS is actually introducing a whole new brand of high-end motherboards which will eventually sit above the Republic of Gamers Extreme series and focus exclusively on achieving the highest possible overclocks. Say hello to the ROG Maximus 9 Apex. I mean, just look at this thing. ASUS has been working with case manufacturers in an effort to think outside the typical box like ATX form factor, and this is their first attempt without getting too crazy. Basically, the Apex keeps to a slightly enlarged ATX size, but its PCB certainly isn't a square since it has several areas that just cut out to house additional components. It is an interesting look, that's for sure. Another distinguishing feature of this board is its three memory slots. The first two are used exclusively for memory, and by eliminating the other two typical slots, ASUS has been able to cut down on traces between the CPU and DIMM slots, which should, in theory, at least boost potential memory overclocks past the 4266 MHz mark. Supposedly, overclockers have already taken this board past 4500 MHz in dual channel mode. That third slot isn't used for memory at all. Uh, rather, it's wired directly to the PCH and it's used for an add-in card with dual M.2 SSD mounts. It's really an interesting design since it moves the M.2 drives away from the GPU mounting areas while also allowing for mounting memory coolers for additional SSD cooling. There are a ton of other overclocking friendly features on this board, but add-ons seen on other ROG boards are missing. There's a PS2 connector in place of two USB ports, and the onboard audio is a more cut-down solution when compared against many of ASUS's other motherboards. Uh, this is all done in effort to achieve overclocking greatness rather than the mass market appeal. Uh, while the Apex may target overclockers, ASUS hasn't forgotten about their people who want everything but the kitchen sink on their motherboards. For them, the ROG Maximus Extreme 9 may be a perfect fit since ASUS has moved the Extreme series up the market in an effort to make it appealing for water cooling enthusiasts. With that in mind, this board's most distinctive feature is the massive bits power monoblock that incorporates liquid cooling to the board's PWM and CPU and even the top M.2 SSD, along with a healthy dose of RGB lighting. Hey, it's 2017, expect RGB in everything. There's more to this water block than what first meets the eye too, since the monoblock incorporates flow rate, water leak, and temperature sensors, which communicate directly with the ASUS fan expert utility. This will allow for continual monitoring of your custom water cooling loop. That's pretty amazing. We also noticed a few other interesting features here. There is an integrated backplate with hardwired connectors for decreased interference, right angled USB and ATX 12 volt connectors, and even a grouping for four fan headers in the upper corner for convenient connection to radiator and water cooling pumps. The Maximus 9 Extreme looks like a very well thought out board and we can't wait to get one in hand for testing. After those last two motherboards, this one might seem a bit of a downer, but I personally think this one is a much more realistic purchase for most of you. Say hello to the Strix Z270i Gaming, a small but hugely capable ITX motherboard. The amount of things ASUS has managed to cram onto this little thing boggles my mind. It has features like front USB 3.1 Gen 2, which is a rarity even on extremely expensive full-size boards, and the ability to sustain 5 GHz on higher overclocks on an i7-7700K processor. There's also a reinforced PCIe slot for extra safety if you transport your system a lot, a strip for RGB on the right side, and a 50-50 header that's compatible with the ASUS Aura RGB LED control software. If you want wireless, the Z270i Gaming has you covered too since it incorporates wireless AC connectivity. Finally, there are two M.2 slots, one on the back of the board and one on the front which also has a unique passive heatsink that can be installed. All in all, ASUS showed a ton of interesting stuff, but if you were buying a new motherboard, which one would it be? The overclocker, the water cooler, or the small ITX? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm Ebar with Hurricane X. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.